Hi guys. Hello from the corner of my wall. This is the corner. Welcome, 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 welcome. Y'all already know what's going on. We're about to do a closet clean out. <laughs> Okay, let me give you the whole backstory. It started in 1978? No, okay. If you're a longtime subscriber, you would know that I did this video last year. I'm going to college, gotta clean up my closet video, type B, you know? And it was all fun and good. Actually, that video was pretty bad, but it's fine. We've only grown from there. I moved into college. I left a bunch of clothes here because I was like, I should, you know, limit myself, you know, maybe like start fresh. I gotta leave a bunch of things here. I don't have that much storage. And it was all fun and good, right? Wrong because like <laughs> maybe like three weeks into school I call my mom up and I'm like mom I need you to bring me the rest of my clothes now basically I just undid all the work that I had done back when I moved out of my dorm I think I might have had two or three boxes full of clothing why let's say it together I am a hoarder yes we're about to not make that same mistake and I'm actually gonna get rid of it because here's my plan I'm gonna try to sell some stuff on Depop which you should follow me on Depop or I'm gonna give it to my cousin Jojo or I'm gonna donate to Goodwill okay let's get started okay let's go over this again clothes 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 and they're all full right they're all like full full and these are big ass drawers like Look at that shit. Then in addition to that, we have Le Closet. And then last but certainly not least, we have these two drawers. Uno. Dos. Both also full of clothes. Yeah, there's more than this, don't worry. Do I have a problem? Yes, I do. Okay, so I hope this is a focus because I can't see the viewfinder at all. Anyway, these pants I just got, so I still like them, but they are really cool. Like, do you see this like extra seam, or no, this extra seam right now the front? I like these and I'm gonna keep them. Okay, I'll be real with y'all. These are the BDG mom jeans. And like, I've just never like looked good in them, I feel like. I just don't like the mom jean fit, I guess. I'm gonna get rid of these. If anyone wants to buy them, I'll make everything really cheap. Uh, everything's gonna be so cheap, don't worry. Okay, I just got these, so I'm keeping them. <laughs> okay, now these are, I honestly don't even know what fit this is. I think this is like supposed to be like a mom fit, but it's like very tight on the top. I kind of like these though. I think these would be good in winter, like, the crop would go well with like a boot. Oh my god. Okay, so these, these are my babies. Yeah, I just love the fit. I like the distressed bottom. I like the rips. But it wants to know, it's the BDG Slim Straight. It's one of the Slim Straights and the, the pattern looks like this. Oh bro, why? So yeah, if you couldn't tell, these are skinny jeans. They're like, they're just ripping onto my thighs like, Mm. I used to like only buy skinny jeans and I would buy so many skinny jeans. I used to have so many pairs of skinny jeans. It was like, but I've turned a new leaf. I like these pants. Oh, what the shit? I forgot these pants existed. I feel like I haven't worn these in like over a year. Actually, that's not true. There's a party I wore these two ones. It was, uh, it was jungle themed. I don't even know. <laughs> okay. I used to really love these jeans, but now they're just kind of like, eh. Like again, if I wanted a straight leg, ripped, medium wash pair of pants, I have one. These are Abercrombie & Fitch, straight leg. They're pretty stretchy. Depop bitch is like. <laughs> yeah, I told you I had a problem. I'm gonna be real. It is partly like a buying problem. Like I do buy too much and that's my fault. But it's also like a hoarder problem. Anyway, I'm like sick of trying on pants. So I'm just gonna run through these real quick. These are some sweatpants I got summer before sophomore year at sleepaway camp because I needed long pants. This is a pair of joggers that I bought in the hopes that I would be able to bleach dye them, but the fit is just so weird. And whenever I try to bleach dye things, they go horribly wrong. These are a pair of joggers that I bought literally in quarantine and I've already forgotten about them. I mean, low-key I'll sell these, like they're kind of cute. These are a pair of Nike joggers which I'm gonna keep because they costed me a fortune. And then this pair of pants I really like, so I'm gonna keep them.
you know what? I low-key probably even have more pants than that, but here's the final count. So this is my pile to donate. These two are my piles to keep, which is a little disappointing, not gonna lie, but whatever, we're just gonna move on. And this is my pile to sell. You know, it's like not, I was kind of hoping that I would have less of an emotional attachment to a lot of them, but I really would like, my heart would hurt to get rid of any of the pants that I'm planning on keeping. So I'm just gonna keep them. Okay, let's move into the closet. bad boys okay we're starting off pretty weak because i don't even know why i bought this i mean like hell it's cute but like the next time i'm gonna have an occasion to wear this is like in a sadly long time Aww. we're gonna try these on i got it like after like it got delivered after quarantine started but then obviously at that point like i wasn't going out anywhere low-key like i mean it's one of these tops so i'm just trying to do like a cost benefit analysis how much room will it take up and how much use will i get out of it yeah i'm gonna keep it I haven't worn this in a long time. I just don't wear this enough, like ever. <laughs> I've had this for like a couple years. I mean, I might try to sell it, but like, I don't know. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the like war more winter clothing. This is a shirt I got from Princess Polly. It's kind of cute. Semi-fancy corporate businessy look. But then also I'm like, would I wear this to an actual like business corporate-y like meeting or whatever? Actually, yeah, low key I would. Like this is, this kind of it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Okay, now there's this sweater, which I kind of look like a hobo in it. Why the fuck did I buy this? It's like, on the one hand, it's like, oh, that like cute, relaxed, like boyfriend vibe. But then also, I literally look like a beggar in this. <laughs> what? I did wear this a lot though, but I don't really see myself picking it in the future. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the fuck this is. This is a classic urban piece. I really just think it's like not my style anymore. It's like not my vibe, so I'm gonna sell this. If you're interested, it'll be like 10 bucks or something, I don't know. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into like sweater territory. This sweater I bought from Abercrombie. It was marketed as this side is the back. Like that's what it was called. It was called like a cross back sweater or whatever. But then they also had a picture of the model wearing it with this side in the front. So I was like, well, that's kind of cute having this in the front. But yeah, I wore this like twice. And then the second time I wore it, I didn't really like it. So I'm gonna sell this. If you're interested, Abercrombie and Fitch. It's really soft though. Like, ooh, anyway. Okay, this. I also bought like the day I got home from school. This is from Urban. It's just a black cardigan. I have a lot of cardigans. This is not really the type of cardigan I'm vibing with right now. So I think I'm gonna sell it. If you're interested, it'll be like 10 bucks. <laughs> Why do I even still have this? I haven't worn this in like two years. No, I did wear it. I did wear it once last year, but it was one time. I don't need this. This is from Hollister. If you want, link in bio. <laughs> okay, more sweaters. I remember when this sweater was my jam. I feel like if I didn't have the, the gray sweatpants on, it would look better. This is from Brandy. I remember buying it, but I haven't worn it in a long time. So yeah, I think I'm gonna sell this one. Imagine if I roll up like this in this outfit, like, what's up? <laughs> So yeah, this video is getting really long, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what I'm doing here. So uh, I tried a bunch of sweaters. I'm gonna be selling a bunch of them. These are a few rompers that I have. Um, I don't wear rompers a lot, but honestly, these all looked really good in my opinion. So I'm kind of torn on whether I should sell them because I, I don't wear them a lot, but I don't know, they're cute. Anyways. This is what we end up keeping. That that was not English. <laughs> this is what I'm keeping. It may seem like a lot, but then also this all here is stuff I'm gonna sell. And then anything that doesn't sell is gonna be donated. It's time to move on to the shirts and let me just show you what we're up against. 
Can I just say, I think I said this last year too, to be honest. I started doing this like the folding where everything's vertical instead of horizontal. I did this before Marie Kondo made it cool, okay? I swear to God. But this is how it's organized. Tank tops in the middle, short sleeve shirts on the left, long sleeve shirts on the right, and then some more tank tops back there because I just have a lot of tank tops. This is a lot. Okay. So I want to address sustainability for a little bit because I know that some of you might be watching this and you might be thinking like this is the epitome of fast fashion, like this is horrible. I know that I have a lot of clothing and it's honestly quite shocking to me even and I'm not trying to, you know, excuse that but I do want to explain why. So when I was in middle school and even like the first half of high school, I had like the worst fashion sense of any child on the planet. So when I finally started developing my sense of style, like junior year of high school, I suddenly felt like I was really behind. And so suddenly I had this scramble to like build up a wardrobe that I was proud of. I didn't even have money back then, but any money that I did have went towards online shopping. And even still, the more and more clothing I amassed, I still never felt like I had a complete wardrobe. I was still always like missing this one piece. It would look so good. It would fit in so well. It's honestly a problem I still struggle with. I still find myself looking at new clothing online and I'm thinking, oh, this would look so good. This would fit so well in my wardrobe. And I'm trying really hard to grow out of that. Anyway, so yeah, that's me trying all my shirts on. So back to the video. All right, and here we go. Here's the finished product. Now it may look like there's still a lot in here, but that's because before I had them all pressed up like this. And now that they're spaced, they're just like going like that, which is why I put these bottles here, but they're not doing anything. So these are all, like, look at that. It's like half the shirts. Okay, so these are all shirts I'm gonna sell. So far, this is like from there to here is all stuff I'm gonna try to sell. And then if not, it's gonna get donated. Maybe to my little cousin or to Goodwill. Okay, so before we continue with this video, I just wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. So I'm sure you guys have all heard of Skillshare before, but if you haven't, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. If you're in school like me, you may have noticed that a lot of classes don't really cater to your specific interests, but that's where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is great because it offers practical and creative classes designed for real life. So I'm starting school soon and I'm gonna have an increased workload, so one of the classes classes that I've been taking is called Productivity Masterclass Create a Custom System That Works and it's by this guy named Thomas Frank who is a YouTuber, author, and entrepreneur. This class is great. It's pretty short which means it doesn't take a lot of time to get through and it's great because it teaches you how to manage your time, how to set up your calendar, how to take notes, all things that are gonna be really useful once I start getting really busy. Another thing that's great about Skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you could explore wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial to the premium version of Skillshare. So you can go explore your creativity. All right, back to the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now the last things I'm gonna be trying on are these shirts. No. Oh my god, shirt? No. If you combine the word skirt and shorts, you get shirt. Okay. So I actually don't have that many shorts. It's just this. Okay, wait, first of all, let me talk about these two. Look at these shorts. You might be like, yeah, they're a little bit different, but like, they're not too different. And let me tell you why they're not too different. It's because these are the exact same short. Like, if you try to buy them, you'd be buying the same thing. These are the Urban Renewal Levi shorts from Urban Outfitters. It's just that since everyone is different, they're technically different, but they're the same. Why did I buy these? So yeah, I've been wondering for a while, why do I have both of these? You know what? I'ma sell these bad boys. And that's where we're gonna wrap things up because honestly, I'm so tired of trying on all these clothes. Honestly, I think this in itself was a wake up call because I couldn't even get through all my clothing. Like there's still more clothes. I could go through sweatshirts, I could go through pajamas, I could go through exercise clothes, but like, <sighs> so um, anyway, remember to check out my Depop 
for any of the clothing in this video that you liked that I'm gonna sell literally it's gonna be cheap it's gonna be like mad cheap because I just want to get rid of it and if it'll make someone else happier then good for you and me basically okay now time to like list these all on Depop I guess 